Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So we worked out this morning and then on our way home, we stopped by Trader Joe's. So you guys kind of saw me unpackaging everything and putting it on the counter, but I know you guys like to know what we get from Trader Joe's. So I figured I'll just go through really quick before I put everything away and show you. Okay, starting over here. So we obviously picked up our favorite chocolate chip cookie baking mix. And then back here, we got these tortilla chips, chili and lime flavored. They're so good. And then I got corn dippers. Colin loves those. I love those. And we got a bunch of chicken and then steak. And also I got some more brown rice honey pasta and some tortillas underneath there. And when I picked up some more chia seeds, I get these for smoothies. Um, I got fettuccine. I don't know where it is, but um, I got Alfredo sauce because I'm going to do that for lunch one day. And then I also got tomato basil pasta sauce because I saw um, this girl I like to follow, Brenna Anastasia, talk about it. And she said it was so good, so I want to try it. Um, Colin picked up some stir fry sauce. We have almond butter back here for smoothies. Um, I got a few salad kits. So I got lemon arugula. Oh my gosh. I got lemony arugula basil salad. There's eggs back there too, by the way. Um, and then we got Caesar salads, and then I got some of this Southwest chopped salad. So I figured I could do those for dinner or lunch, and then more chicken over here. And then we got um, garlic powder and onion salt because we were running low. And I also picked up more oat milk, strawberries and blackberries. We got cilantro, zucchini squash. I got pre-made chicken for lunches just because it was honestly less expensive, so it's crazy. We got butter. Here's the fettuccine I got. It is gluten-free egg fettuccine pasta, and we've never had it, so I'm excited to try it. Colin loves to eat vegetable rice. I got more of the vegan kale cashew basil pesto because I like putting this in my breakfast wraps and in my pasta. I obviously got more buffalo chicken dip because this is literally my fave. We got a tomato, a garlic, some spinach, potatoes, and some avocados to make guac. I also got a coffee creamer um, for my little, uh, what's it called? Cold brew coffee that's in the fridge already. And then also we picked up some body lotion because we were out. So yeah, that's everything we got from Trader Joe's. Okay, so I'm gonna put everything away while I drink my smoothie. I was kind of starving because we stopped on the way home from working out to the grocery store. Um, so I made us smoothies really quick and I'm just gonna pop in listen to a podcast I'm listening to Natalie Barbu's um, podcast with Lucy Fink. I like Lucy Fink So I'm excited to listen and I'll just time lapse me putting this away. I guess shower my plan is to wear pajamas today because it is literally well it's not raining yet but it is thundering like really loud and really long outside so yeah I just showered I have toner on my con pad and I just am rubbing it for my face and so far today I think I'm gonna do like a no makeup day so I'm just gonna put moisturizer on though using the moisturizer I got from Charlotte Tilbury in my last vlog. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my face and then do like a little hairstyle with my hair. And then I think I'm gonna be done with it. Every time I fly, um, when I get back, I always have like a few breakouts. So that's kind of what's happening. I did just stand in the mirror though and go to town on my face. So it probably looks a little red and swollen, but you know what? Okay, I need to put my ring on too. Okay, so I just pulled the front pieces back 
and I thought it was really cute so I'm gonna just do that again so first I'm just gonna brush my hair out so today's plan I don't really have any content that's due or anything for the rest of the week I just have content that's been approved to post um, so I'm planning on editing a video because I have one video going up today I'm pretty sure and then another one going up in a few days so I need to edit the other one um, I'm gonna spray the dry bar um, seashore spritzer it's like a salt free wave spray if you follow me on Instagram I showed you guys this is new from dry bar but on days when I'm like not really doing my hair I like it because then it just kind of adds some texture and then you just scrunch it up and I'm just trying to give it some volume so I'm gonna scrunch this first this is just what I did yesterday kind of scrunch it up and give it some more waves without me having to put more heat on it and then I'll pull back the top pieces but first I'm gonna use the Playa soft volume powder and just kind of put this along my middle part and then rub it in just to give it some volume in the front part because I like to keep the front pieces down there okay and then I'm just gonna pull these pieces back put them in this little clip okay anyways so I'm about to after I'm done with this I think I'm gonna make myself a little coffee because I'm so tired. That's another thing. Um, Colin and I are still trying to adjust from being just like an hour behind. Even though it's an hour behind, I feel like any time change is just really different when you first get back. So we, well, like I really want to go to bed early tonight, like really early, because I just feel exhausted. I even took pre-workout this morning and I was still yawning during our workout. So yeah, okay. Pulling the pieces back, trying to get as much as I can. And I'm just gonna put them in the clip. I haven't even seen the back, so it might look like a disaster, but yeah, okay. So I'm gonna go make a coffee, put some chapstick on. I might even do a face mask, we'll see. So put our new hand cream in our corner over here. So that's its new home. Okay, taking a break to do lunch. So it's like four, so I'm just gonna do something quick. I'm making the Southwestern chopped salad, and then I'm just adding this like pre-made chicken on top, so it'll be super easy. But I've never had this salad before, so I'm excited to tell you guys about it. And then I'm gonna also eat some strawberries. So that's lunch today. I've just been doing a lot of computer work, just simple, simple stuff. Okay, here's the salad. It actually looks really good. I'm excited to try it. So the salad is really yummy and I like it because it's a nice, sorry, was I just pointing that at me? I like it because it's a nice change up from the Caesar salads that we always get. So I'm gonna sit here, watch Maggie McDonald's new vlog. Kind of take a little break, eat my strawberries. Um, and then, hmm, I don't really know what to do after that. To be honest, I've kind of gotten all my work done for the day. So that is very exciting. Okay guys, so a couple months ago I pre-ordered, let me put you up a little here, I pre-ordered this package right here from H&M, it's a vase, and I was going to use it in my home decor video, but then it was on back order for so long, so I never got to use it, so now I'm going to open it because it finally came, and I had no idea like what this was, and then it occurred to me by the size of the package and the location it was from that it could only be 
what I ordered. What's that? It's <laughs> the problem when you order stuff in three months ago. Okay, let's see this first. Here. Do you want to open the big one? Well, the big one's definitely what I think it is. Oh yeah, this was like on sale for like two dollars, so I got this. <laughs> okay, well it's cute, you know. Could store all my jewelry. Okay. I told Colin that he'd really like this, so. Oh, Do you cool. like it? Yeah, it's cool. Oh good. If you heard our podcast episode the other day about home decor, you would know why I was scared if you would like it or not. Is it heavy? I mean, it's not like, super heavy. But oh, heavy. I like it. Okay, let's go find it at home. My favorite part of home decor. I vision it, I envisioned it in here. So, we'll see. Hey okay, guys, here's what I ended with. I'll probably change it six times before I'm like, decided I think it's good, but I'm excited. Also, there's a smaller one that goes with it, um, but it's not in stock, or at least when I bought it three months ago, it wasn't in stock, but then I kind of forgot about it, so I don't know, but yeah, I like it. So, we, put you down, initially, we were going to make a HelloFresh meal. Do these sweatpants look weird? They're so long. Initially, we were going to make a HelloFresh meal for dinner, um, but when we opened it, the sour cream kind of exploded and broke. We don't normally use sour cream all that much. We just don't have it. Yeah, we like just don't have sour cream. So, oh, why do you keep getting pomegranate ginger? I asked if you wanted one. You said no, so I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to drink I know, this but I just haven't like sips. Them. Okay, if you missed my Instagram story the other day, we Here. started... I'm not sponsored. We started drinking presses <laughs> in <laughs> Minnesota. They're like an alcoholic seltzer. So I like don't love White Claw because I just don't like the aftertaste and I just don't really like a lot of seltzers because of the aftertaste, but press, oh my gosh, it has no aftertaste. I feel like these it's have a lot so less good. carbonation too. Wait, I thought you were exchanging it for no, a blackberry. I, I just got a different one. Why? I got this one, the grapefruit that I had yesterday. It's good. Oh, wait, no, I wanted you to get the other one. No, no, the one you had out was good. Sorry, I got confused. Can you go get the pomegranate one? Okay, anyways, so my favorite is the blackberry. You Isn't want it? The ginger one? Um, what's that um, one? Th this one is the grapefruit. I just had the ginger one. So you want. <laughs> Which one do you want? <laughs> what are the, all the flavors? Grapefruit what? Oh goodness, just hold on. No, grapefruit what? Here, I'm just kidding. Anyways, we really like press now. Lime lemongrass. Oh, I haven't had this one yet. Let's try that one. Wait, what are the other ones though? Lime lemongrass, blackberry hibiscus is my favorite. I think we already drank all the blackberry hibiscus ones. What? Yeah, we did. There was only pomegranate, ginger. Pomegranate. Oh, wait, no, I found a blackberry hibiscus. No, it's okay. Save it. Blackberry. Okay. Wait. Pomegranate, ginger, and grapefruit. What? Grapefruit. Cardamom. <laughs> <laughs> Word we don't know. Anyways, they have a great aftertaste, so Colin really drinks them all. I'm gonna try this one. They're good. Oh, I like that one a lot. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so we mixed our plans. Thank God we went to Trader Joe's today because we're gonna do the fettuccine for dinner. So we're gonna do chicken fettuccine alfredo. Here's the alfredo sauce in case you missed it earlier. So it's egg fettuccine pasta, it's gluten free, which is exciting. No sugar in that, and then less than a gram of sugar in this Alfredo sauce. And I have never had this Alfredo sauce before, but I'm excited. It isn't dairy free though, so there's that. And then we have our organic chicken, and then I'm also going to put some spinach in it for our veggie. So yeah, I'm gonna make that for dinner. Colin's gonna do the chicken, and I'm gonna do the noodles. Okay, so you just bring four quarts, I almost said cups, four quarts of slightly salted water to a rapid boil, add the pasta, gently separate with a fork, stir and cook three to four minutes, and then we're done. Wow, okay, so you need to make your chicken way before I even start making this pasta. Yeah, I'm gonna start making it like right now. Okay, while you do that, I'm gonna go do an Instagram story of my new little decor item. Okay. You okay? Yeah, I almost totally like dropped this and cracked it. I can't decide. 
I need to, actually I'm gonna look online right now to see if the small one that goes with the big one's in stock. Is anyone? Okay. Like wouldn't that be cute though if you had the large one and the small one stacked in front? I'm just really gonna try and relate to your audience for a second, okay? Sure. Here, can you scooch over so I can be in the spotlight for a second? Okay, so does anyone else watching right now wear contacts normally like all the time and never wear glasses? And then if you start wearing your glasses randomly all of a sudden, just feel more tired. Because mm -hmm. I feel so tired right now when I put my glasses on because I'm running out of contacts. Face. It's like half a guy's face in a face. Just doesn't seem your style, if I'm being honest. Seems way too like weird. Ah, oh, the small one. I don't think they have the small one. They just still have. The we powder. have garlic powder again. So we have this large one in the back, and then there's that more small one that you can like layer in front. And I really like when home decor is layered like that when you have two of the same thing, and it's like a bigger or a small one. And I see it all over the Pinterest, and I have it pinned all over my boards, but um, I haven't found anything I liked. And then. Um, I ended up finding it because of Pinterest. I found this because I was looking for something like this and then I couldn't find anything. And then I finally found it. Oh, see, look, there they are stacked. I think that that looks really good. And the other one's only $17, it's out of stock. I'm just gonna keep checking back because it's worth it and I think that it'll look really good whenever we move. So I'll just keep looking because it's very inexpensive and we're all into inexpensive home decor nowadays. And around the time when we're moving, I'm planning on well, we're keeping all on. of our furniture. So, let me tell you guys. Me and Bianca talked, and she said I could have an orange wall. Get out of here. Okay, I'm planning on keeping all of our furniture. We're not, like, I don't think we're selling anything. We're going to use everything in the new house. And if we get anything else, it's going to be, like, thrifted or from home goods. And we're going to find, like, really cool deals on thrifted things. That's my goal. So, I'm very excited to do like an affordable home thing because styles change so much. It's like kind of useless unless you're buying a couch or like a strong decor item. Like, God, just put his butt against mine. Like a mirror, like I love our mirrors. I would never get rid of them, stuff like that. But for just like simple decor that goes out of style all the time, I'm not gonna spend a lot of money on that. It's just stupid. So, okay, I'm gonna go do a story about my new little decor piece though. Okay, I kind of got distracted because I'm messaging Madison, by the way, oh my god, boiling water scares me, <laughs> messaging Madison who do, does my hair because I'm ordering a darker pack of extensions to go back to like really light brown. We're just mixing these packs for now and then we'll get the darker pack to light brown with this. I don't know, she knows what she's doing, I trust her. So I was messaging back and forth with her to get the wedding hair process going so anyways i'm just not waiting until like the very last minute and i want to like solidify what my hair is gonna look like before way before the wedding just to make sure i don't like do so much damage on my hair at once and i can um make it a longer process i also don't know how much to put in so i hope that's okay <laughs> I feel very frazzled right now, and I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna use this to stir it in. It said add the sauce immediately, and I'm assuming that's so the noodles don't stick together. Okay, and then I'm also gonna add the spinach so the spinach can kind of cook with the pasta. Perfect, that should be enough. So anyways, I'm getting my hair done on Monday and then I'm gonna be filming a wedding series video just talking about the first three months. And then I'm gonna be filming another video um, of me getting my hair done, showing you guys Colin's outfit he's wearing because we have it. Um, and I'm, it's like super inexpensive, so like we think. So I'm excited about that. And then talking about the bridesmaid's dresses because I changed my mind on a few things. And I ordered my rehearsal dinner outfit from Beholden. So um, that next wedding series video will just kind of discuss everything that I talked about. I'm excited. Things are moving. And we thought we were going to the wedding venue in August, but I don't know if that's going to happen because the wedding venue is still closed. So maybe September. I think it needs some more sauce. I'm not really worried though. You'd think I'd be worried, but I'm not worried because whatever's going to happen is what's going to happen. And that's my motto. And either way, we're getting married on February 13th. I don't care how it happens. We're getting married. It's my motto. 
There's the fettuccine, by the way, in case you wanted to see. This vlog's been strictly food and chatting. It's okay though. Okay, so here's the final result. This looks pretty darn good if I do say so myself. Colin grilled the chicken and I already tried the sauce. I really like this sauce. Oh, I still love that new thing. Okay. <laughs> My pocket comes out of these sweatpants all the time. Okay, well, I'm not wearing makeup, so I'm just going to wash my face and put on my Summer Fridays mask. And I think I'm going to do some... Actually, yeah, we'll do it. I'm going to do my Isle of Paradise tanning drops, except I learned from Alex Garza to only put your tanning drops where you would contour. So, like, here and here and, like, kind of on your nose. And then... um just like focus it on there first because you mix it with your face lotion and then put the lotion all over your face after so i'm gonna do that and then i will obviously show you guys what it looks like in the morning but i'm going to get ready for bed and go to bed we're trying to go to bed early it's 10 30 so we're going to bed at 10 30 progress morning i just did the motivational quote my morning routine got dressed all of the above today's set active set is in fawn so yeah i know that they're doing a huge black friday sale when black friday happens so i would get ready for that because apparently they're bringing back like a lot of colors and stuff also i'm trying to get my brightness to go up a little bit for you guys but yeah my favorites are oat milk and i like fawn too um, I really like Sky, my new set Sky. Those are good ones. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna go out and make my pre-workout, except I'm almost out. I did place an Alani new order for um, Arctic White. I'm excited, but I don't know when it's gonna get here. I need to track it. I literally just said I don't know when my Alani new order is coming, and then I just got an email saying that my order is out for delivery. Oh really? Yeah, isn't that weird? Yeah. I just said it. I haven't even looked at my email yet this morning. But I saw it pop up on my phone, so that's why I clicked it. Oh, I thought you were talking to me this whole time. Oh, no. I was talking to both of you. All of you. Pre-workout, then the workout. Today we're doing legs. I haven't squatted on the squat rack in a very long time. So I'm excited about it. And Colin has an interview today. Mm -hmm. So that's exciting. And I'm starving already. And I have the hiccups. So that's how our Thursday is going. <laughs> also, I forgot to tell you guys about my face because I put like the tanning stuff on my face, but I didn't even show you this morning because in my opinion, I'm going to keep talking while I get my pre-workout, but in my opinion, it didn't really look like anything happened. So I think that I'm like, I have the dark kind. So I, I've only used like one drop because I just don't want to come out looking like a little wild. So, um, I only used one drop, but I think if I use like a drop and a half or I might try two, then it might show up more. But also, um, I was using one drop before I got really tan in Minnesota. And so now that I'm a little tan, that's probably why I need more drops. So I'm going to try it again tonight and then hopefully it'll work. Also, it's always so hard to get the pre-workout at the bottom. Okay, well, I didn't even fill this up all the way because I thought I had less than I actually had, but now I can actually fill it up all the way. But Galaxy Lemonade has officially pretty much bit the dust. Picked up some breakfast. So I just did egg spinach, the tortilla with pesto, and then some strawberries, and my coffee right there. And then Colin's going to leave for his interview, and I think I'm going to run to a Target to get some necessities. Okay, so initially... Colin's already back from this interview, but I was gonna go to Target and then I realized I couldn't go to Target because Colin took the car. So instead I just got like ready for the day because I was gonna do that when I got back, but I don't even really need to go to Target right away. So I do wanna get um, a pan though. We need like a medium pan. Anyways, this is my outfit from Naked Fashion. I really like my outfit today with the low bun. And then I'm gonna put on my sandals from Naked. It'll be like a whole day of Naked. Kind of. Okay, so yeah, here's my outfit. I think I'm going to do an Instagram story because um, I like it so much. And then we do need to go to Macy's, but that'll be in a different vlog. That's going to be in a wedding series for Colin's outfit that he's wearing to the wedding. And we need to figure that out ASAP because it's necessity. It is a necessity. Um, 
I'm still waiting to hear back from like some companies so honestly today all I really have to do is this vlog which is nice um so yeah and then I eventually need to wash my hair I think I might end up doing it tomorrow though because we have an event to go to this weekend so yeah anyways I just thought I'd tell you about my outfit because I really like it I can have it linked below if anything is still in stock here's uh, the full fit with the shoes the shoes are so cute I like the shoes okay excuse me we're kind of blasting the air Colin, the whole point in this was that I did order Colin's, like, suit. So, the guys, I'm going to finish this clip, and it's going to be in my wedding series video, like I told you guys earlier in this vlog. But the guys aren't wearing, like, actual suits. They're wearing, like, sport coats and pants. One, that is so much cheaper. And I know you can rent, but um, I don't think you can rent what I want. Or at least I haven't found that opportunity yet. But I also like it because when I picked out, the guys can like rewear to other stuff. Like they could literally wear it on a nice date night or whatever. So I think that that's fine. But the pants, we ordered Colin's size, but they don't fit his thighs. Like his thighs are way too big. So we're going to go return them and try on other pants so we can see exactly what size to order and then tell all the guys to order. I just sent my dad a picture and he really, really likes it. So um, we'll see. But I did just go to the mailbox and pick up a package from Alani New. Oh, Colin took the keys. Damn. I don't know if I'm going to be able to open this right now. Um, so, yeah. So, us, like, going there or me showing you what the jacket looks like and stuff, I'll show in that wedding series. Um, but that's where we're headed to right now. Let's see if this will open it. Um, all I ordered was protein and pre-workout. Because, oh, oh my god, my finger, I know, I think I told you guys that I, like, think I broke my finger, but holy crap, it hurts so bad still, and it hurts on, like, this whole side of my hand. Um, but, oh, good, it's here, okay. Also, it shipped so fast, I'm very thankful. So, I ended up ordering the, uh, um, confetti cake protein. This is my all-time favorite protein from Alani New that I've tried. And then I also got arctic white which i'm so excited about i've been saying i wanted to order arctic white forever and i just would never order since gnc's were open there he is he left his pants upstairs there you go i got oh. some pants oh it stayed on you got yeah i did you got your pants and your mask yeah. don't press the start button because the engine's already on <laughs> just was thinking about that yep okay here's arctic white so i'm excited for tomorrow morning and taking that Okay, we ended up leaving with a new suit. It was totally different than the one that I initially ordered, which is exciting because I actually think that the one that we ended up getting is so much better quality. The other one, the pants were kind of see-through, so Colin would have definitely had to wear like white boxers and so would have the other guys. But now the new color that we just got is not see-through at all. And um, it was also on mega sale. So I just sent the link to Colin's mom for Connor and for Ray if he decides he wants to wear the same thing. Because my dad is. Because my dad really likes it. And my dad and I have like dark skin. So I, my dad would look really good in it. But um, and then Colin's going to text the link to his groomsmen. So I think that we got all of that figured out. And then right now we're trying to go to GNC. We're having a Colin, crisis. Yeah. Colin takes mask gainer protein. So he doesn't like he drinks Smilani new and our smoothies and stuff. But then he also on top of that takes mask because it's just got way more calories in it so um it, which is easy for him to get in his calories that's why he takes it anyways we always get it from gnc and apparently the when i the other day when i mentioned it was like probably a couple weeks ago i asked you guys if gnc's were closing because i heard a rumor and we've been to two now and none of them are open and then i even tried to call the one by our house and it said that the um, phone number was deactivated so I think that it's true and I'm officially sad and so now I'm curious to see where Alani New sells their products because Alani New did sell their products in GNC and so I'm sure that they'll replace what GNC was and sell them in something else but I hope we have whatever they sell them in. Is it on the other side of this? Yeah because I don't I mean I, I don't mind online ordering um I actually don't know where it is Colin. We're going to the vitamin shop now to see if they have anything Colin can take. But I don't mind online ordering. But I just, for some reason, like going to places in stores. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, I don't know. I bet, I wonder if y'all's GNCs are closed or if it's just in North Carolina. So, if you don't live in North Carolina, 
tell us because I'm curious. I did a ton of looking for a wedding videographer. We know who we want our photographer to be and uh, I'm uh, going to ask my wedding planner to talk to her um, first before I reach out just because or we'll reach out together. I don't know. Anyway, um, but I was looking and looking and looking for a videographer, preferably in the state of where the wedding is. So we didn't really have to like pay that much for travel. Um, and I just found one. So I reached out and they said they're totally booked for 2020, but still have a few spots available for 2021. So I'm praying to God that our wedding date is available because that would be literally amazing. We liked their wedding videos so much. So if it ends up working out, I'll tell you who they were. And if it ends up not working out, I'll still tell you who they were in case you're looking for a wedding videographer. Um, but our sour cream busted in our HelloFresh meal. Um, I don't know if I told you that in this vlog or what, but I'm going to go to the store with Colin really quick and we're gonna get my sour cream so we can make this meal. Got the sour cream, I almost said butter, but it is sour cream. So we're going to watch our show. Here's dinner. We did the HelloFresh meal. Like I said, Colin's lifting it up. It's just chicken, green beans, and couscous. So, um, yeah, we've just been cooking dinner. I've been playing Folklore on Alexa. And I'm just really trying to like the album. I'm really trying. There's like a couple songs that I'm like, okay, this isn't that bad. You have a fork and a knife? No, I don't. But they're not like amazing, but I keep playing them out loud to try and like them. I'm trying so hard because I used to love Taylor Swift. I feel like I should like this album and I don't know why I don't. Are you ready to eat? Okay, Colin's in the shower. I need my face wash. I got it. <laughs> okay, so I uh, still don't have my face wash that I left in Minnesota. So I've just been using this old stuff. It's like ultra gentle cleanser from Neutrogena. It does the job good enough. Um, but at night, just wash my face, do toner and then moisturizer. And also, I gotta get them. My Isle of Paradise tanning drops. Oh, my moisturizer's in the bedroom. Okay, I'm gonna do them again tonight just because it didn't show up really well. And also, I'm gonna probably put my hair back in another bun. Okay. Next, oops. Next, I just take one of these little cotton swab things. I just get them from Target, so. Yeah, they're just these little things. And I grab my rose water toner from Mamande. I love this skincare brand, Mamande. They have some pretty good stuff. But um, I just put it on the pad to get any like excess makeup that I missed. Um, and you can get this at Ulta, by the way. And then I just rub this all over my face. Better really bend down. Lovely. Here's where it gets interesting. So, I take my Summer Fridays jet lag mask, and I know it's a mask, but I honestly just use it as a moisturizer because it's like the most hydrating thing I've ever put on my face. I'm not kidding. Um, so, I just take a little bit of that and then leave the lid off because I'm going to use it again in a second. Oh my gosh. The Isle of Paradise tanning drops are so hard to get off. I use the dark shade, by the way, but my mom has them and she uses medium and she likes them a lot. Then I'm going to put two drops this time to really, you know, get it in there. Make sure it shows up a little darker. Actually, I might need a little bit more moisturizer. Oh, it's dripping. Okay, then do a really good job of mixing it together. And then I'm going to put it on the places where I contour. So I'm going to like rub it in here on where my bronzer goes. Oh my god, my hair is in it. Oh my gosh. I'm not doing so good to start off. Oh, Colin, where are you when I need you? Turn my hair behind my ear. Good thing I'm getting my hair down on Monday. Here, my nose, and here. Colin's about to walk through in his towel. Run, Colin, run. Run. <laughs> okay. My legs hurt. Okay, gonna put it here, and then kind of like right here first. That's where it goes first. Oops, I got some on my cheeks, so that might look a little weird in the morning. Okay, now you take 
a little bit more of your moisturizer and now you rub the whole thing all over your face so you just kind of like blend it all together okay hopefully this shows up better in the morning anyways that's how i apply my isle of paradise tanner because the first time i did it i did it all over my face and i was like this is not cute and it didn't look right and then i saw alex garza say nope only put it on the spots that you contour and then put the rest of it all over your face all at once with the moisturizer and then it looked really natural i just don't think i did enough drops last night so and then I um, use Grande Lash on my eyelashes. I've been using it for a couple months now, and my eyelashes have seriously grown so much. It's the best eyelash product I've ever used, so I'm going to keep using that for a very long time. So we're going to go to bed, because you know what? How to Get Away with Murder Season 6 is getting really good, and now it's already 11. And our goal is to be in bed by 10.30 tonight, and it just didn't happen, because Season 6 started off with an absolute bang. So... Yeah, we're going to bed now, but that is totally okay. So I wanted to end the vlog and say thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already subscribed. Stick around. Join the fam. You know, all those really cool things that you should do to support us so we can get a golden retriever in a couple months. Right? Okay, I'm setting my alarm. And we're out of here. So peace out. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video.